So dual coding theory is <clears throat> a theoretical approach to meaning. And basically what it says is the human beings have the capacity to store information either as a language code or a nonverbal visualized code is what it makes. It's mostly visualized, we'll mm -hmm. call it that, but our nonverbal code can be through any of the senses. So dual coding is the capacity to go back and forth between those coding systems. So if you're reading the word dog and you see dog, that's one thing. You understand the meaning from mm -hmm. the verbal code, but you also see a picture of a dog in your mind. So that's dual coding, that little piece of information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's dual code. So our comprehension program is based on teaching students to visualize more effectively than what they're usually doing, which is usually not at all, right, or poorly, or a little bit, but something that, you know, could use some enrichment like that. Right, so, so they can effectively use right. it. So, so there are a lot of the, like a lot of the teenagers um, that we deal with and a lot of the adults we deal with, that's one of the, the mm -hmm. strengths is, uh, you know, our strengths is working with them to teach them how to comprehend mm -hmm. by visualizing more effectively. And then the process of visualization is also connected to understanding math problems and math sequences and so on. It also affects our uh, working memory. So then uh, math difficulties can also often be traced back to a lack of visualization. So sometimes we have to do the two programs at the same time, right. like maybe two hours of comprehension or visualizing two hours of math. And then written expression too, I think, can, can be uh, traced a lot to visualization as well. So let's say you have a child who can, who can read, who can spell, right, but can't write because they can't think of a thing to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we, we get students, that's sort of the typical uh, pattern that we see, right? Absolutely. So the child, the child, when it comes to writing something, they just sit there, they, they, they can't glance. So the reason for that is they're not visualizing any of the language that they're thinking, yeah. right? So unless they can go directly from language to print, they're gonna be in trouble because they just can't get the ideation going in, in the first place. So that uh, they just you know, they stare at the pages in, in a blank. Once we teach those children how to visualize, right, then we can show them how to apply it to their written expression. And so again, the sequence is maybe they do some visualizing first and then some writing, or perhaps they can do it simultaneously. That's another way we individualize. Absolutely. So out of these four programs that we offer, we can, we can tailor make a program or programs mm -hmm. that are consistent with that child's needs.